Yo, what's up? Hello and welcome. My name is Rachel and today we are making a gyroid from Animal Crossing. Out of PVC pipes. <laughs> so I got this piece from Goodwill like two years ago. It was a total impulse buy, but you know, $2.99 so can't complain. And I've been hoarding it ever since thinking, oh, I, this is totally gonna come in handy one day for a project. Well, it never did. But today, I am going to be turning it into a project. So I guess it did kind of come in handy, but not in, like the way I thought where I'd have to come up with a project to use it for. So yeah, that's the plan. Buckle up and let's make a gyroid. Okay, so now that we have the DIY recipe for a PVC gyroid, it's time to collect our ingredients. So I need to run to the store and get a few things. We need more PVC for the arms, brown spray paint, and something for like the spiky headpiece that goes down the middle. So let's head down to Nook's Cranny and see what we can find. Okay, let's do a quick haul recap here. We got the brown for the base or like the color for everywhere, not just the base. We got the arm pieces or like this. And these were kind of hard to pick out, but I think I finally got it right with these ones. Ta-da! Look at that! He's doing the, he's doing the ooh, thing. So we've got our starting point here with these PVCs. Oh, what else did I get? Just this thing, just a piece of foam. There we go. And this was like a couple dollars. So I think it'll be good. I'm gonna have to probably shave it down because it's really big right now. So hopefully this works. I'll have to make something like this myself. But yeah, that's all we got. So we gotta get started. So first up, I need to like sand down all these little details. Like there's writing and then there's this stuff and that. This could be his mouth actually, maybe. But we'll see. Either way, I'm gonna sand out all the writing on this and on these. That's what we're gonna do right now. <sighs> well, that was something, but it's done. It's smooth ish smooth enough i'd say same with the arms got all that lettering off yeah we're ready i'm gonna dust them off and then i'm gonna glue the arms in and we'll spray paint let's do it so before i could spray paint i realized i should make the headpiece first so they can dry together i start by tracing a circle around the pipe one inch wider than the base i cut that out super quick and clean up the edges with my dremel i then use a bowl and my heat gun to get the rounded shape i want Shaping it was pretty hard on the arms and my glue did come undone, so I'll have to re-glue those. So that's awesome. Next, I started working on the brim for the headpiece. I measured out a one half inch strip of foam and then cut it to the length I needed. I also realized this method would work well for the spike running down the gyro's head, making that white strip I bought earlier totally pointless. So that's awesome. After that, I went ahead and used contact cement to put it all together. Here we are, second coat, 
Let's do this. Well, it's been a minute spray painting these and slagging off on spray painting these and just about a week. Well, we now finally have a fully spray painted gyroid body and a little hat slash headpiece. So next up, we are going to paint on the details before attaching the head to the body, just because I think it might be easier to paint that way because I can lay it on its side and stuff with no issues. So let's paint on its face and little details to make this guy really start to come to life. Let's do it. First things first, I started by painting a bunch of little dots all over the base of the gyro and on his little headpiece. Okay, so we're taking this part off because it's annoying and ruining everything. Okay. Oh, oh so, sick! So <laughs> that was so easy! After that small demolition intermission, I got to work on painting the face. I used a small liner brush and the same black I used for the dots. I did decide just to freehand this, but it does come back to bite me in the butt later. My hand was super shaky and I was having a really hard time with the paint. I do end up just wiping it off and I did come back with a pencil to draw on the eyes and the mouth first. After that, I use a Sharpie to outline and kind of fill in the eyes and mouth. I do go back over with the paint to darken everything up and completely fill in the eyes and mouth. It took some trial and error, but I eventually got it the way I wanted it. All right, we finished painting the face on. So now we're back in the garage and all we have left to do is contact cement the headpiece onto the top of his head. All right, second coat, let's do this. Wait, make it more of like a second coat? Let's do this. All right, second coat. Let's do this. Okay, wait. Just, like, relax a little bit. Here we are, second coat. Let's do this. <laughs> Here we are, second coat. Let's do this. Hang on, my hair's stuck. All right. Um, do you want to redo that intro thing? No, I don't. <laughs> I'll just cut them together to make it work. Mm -hmm. 